Merry Christmas to you all. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to all family that have come back to, to be here um, together with us at this Christmas. I extend also a warm welcome to anyone of a different church or a different faith background that has also joined us tonight. Uh, it's always good to come together as Christians, um, especially on a night such as miraculous and wonderful as this. Our Lord has broken into our world. He's broken into our humanity, and he has given us his gift of love. And the, all the church fathers and the teachers of the church say that the gift of love, purely given as it is by the Lord, what does that do? It leads, first of all, to the fruit of the Holy Spirit called joy. So that love, that love pouring out from the crib tonight for all of you should make your heart want to burst with joy. I was so joyful that I looked back to my childhood and there was a particular um, poem, I guess you could call it, a particular thing that was read by the father of the house every Christmas. And I decided to rewrite it a little bit and to put my own little twist on it, a little scriptural or gospel twist. So I'd like you to just listen and enjoy now. Let the joy of the Lord dance through your hearts. It was the night before Christmas when all through the church not a creature was stirring, not even the priests in their perch. The greenery and Christmas lights were hung by the nativity with care in hopes that our Lord Jesus would soon be there. The beloved faithful were nestled all snug in their homes while visiting family began to gather, texting their travel plans with their phones. And Father Jim in his rocking chair and I with my Talking Santa app had, had just settled down for a nice Christmas eggnog frap. <laughs> when down in the church there arose such a clatter, I threw down my phone to see what was the matter. Down the rectory stairs I flew like a flash, threw open the door knocking over the trash. The street light, which shone before me through the stained glass, gave appearance to something. Could it be just some Christmas bats? It was then at that moment that my mind did recall the prophecy of Isaiah, which was forever to be read to all. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. For a child is born to us, a son is given us, and all suddenly turned white. For then before my wondering eyes did appear, but a tiny babe, oh, isn't he dear, wrapped so tightly like the hand to a glove, I knew in an instant it was our Lord beaming with love. More rapid than eagles, his angels they came, and he ooed and he cooed and he called them by name. Now seraphim, now cherubim, now thrones and dominions, on virtues, on powers, on principalities, archangels, to the mountains of creation, to the homes of the cold. Go, my messengers, go one and go all. Born as their Savior, I'm here to redeem, I'm here to make them whole. Never again will they have to fear, I cherish their soul. To the heights of the church they flew, with the incarnate word, the image of the living God, too. And then at that moment I heard on his lips the sweetness incarnate, now my heart skips. I bowed my head full and fell to my knees. There in the crib lay the infant Lord surrounded by trees. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Today is born our Savior, Christ our Lord. Then shall all the trees of the forest exalt. This scene let us savor. The virgin mother and the carpenter were there to keep him safe from danger. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him back in the manger. His eyes were wide and twinkled. His face shone like the sun. He breathed slowly, full of peace. Yes, he is the one. They name him Wonder Counselor, God, Hero, our Lord, Father forever, and Prince of Peace, his word, a double-edged sword. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful. From David's throne and over his kingdom, nothing deceitful. Mary and Joseph looked on him with such joy. The shepherds and animals there became captivated by this small boy. He turned his small head, looking at me with those newborn eyes. I melted inside, and then came such a surprise. For in that moment, kneeling before the king, I heard him whisper to the depth of my soul, Do not be afraid, don't worry a thing. For behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all people. Today in the city of David a Savior is born who is for you, Christ, and your Lord, come to the steeple. 
and raising his tiny arm toward me with haste, he gave me a blessing to which I felt graced. He laid back his head and then gave a sigh. The last thing he said, have all your brothers and sisters stop by. And suddenly, reappearing, were the multitudes of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to you, no more dismaying. Brothers and sisters, have a wonderful Merry Christmas. Receive the love of God into your heart tonight. Know that your God loves you beyond anything you can imagine. Let that give you joy this Christmas season.